Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. This episode is Lesson 20 of our look at the book of 2 Corinthians. In the last episode, we covered 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 1 through 5. And in this episode, we're going to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. And the episode will be titled, Paul Explains How to Give. Let's read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning at verse 6. But this I say, he which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Paul here is telling the Corinthians what and how to give. And we can learn this idea of what and how to give over the Corinthian shoulder. Verse 6, Paul tells them that he that sows bountifully will reap bountifully, and he that sows sparingly will reap sparingly. Now, some come along and teach that Paul was saying, if you give a little, you'll get a little. But if you give much, you'll get much. Now, if this were true, what would that say about the Macedonians? Because remember what Paul said in 2 Corinthians 8 verse 2, which says, How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded under the riches of, the, of their liberality. Paul had just told them about how the Macedonians had given to him, they gave in the proper attitude, but they were poor and they gave a lot. So if this attitude is, well, if you give a lot, you're going to get a lot. And if you give a little, you're only going to give a little. What did that say about the Macedonians? They gave out of what they really did not have. People come along and say, well, if you only give $10, you're not going to get a lot back. But if you give $100, you're going to get a lot. That's not what Paul is saying here. Paul is talking about attitude here, not quantity. He is talking about quality, not quantity. To sow bountifully means that they are going to be giving in the proper manner, not grudgingly, not of necessity, cheerfully, purposefully. That's what it means to sow bountifully. It means to give in the proper manner. That's how you're going to sow. If you're going to sow sparingly, that means you're not completing God's wishes concerning giving. You're going to think of it as a tax, as a burden. You're going to just reach into your pocket. Oh, I got $3 this week. I'll put that in the collection plate. And you're going to do that really holding on to your money. That's what we do when we're trying to teach children about charity and giving. And parents usually give their children uh, a little bit to put in the collection plate. Now, in the beginning, the child's really not going to want to give the dollar or whatever you give them to put in the collection plate. Some children might think it's novel to do that, but they're really going to take a look at this when they start seeing the value of money. You know, I want to keep this. But what we're trying to instill in them is the attitude of wanting to give. You can't get that attitude unless you teach that attitude. And Paul's teaching that attitude here. God knows the hearts of men. He will judge each of us accordingly. If we will not gladly sacrifice here the things that God's given us on this earth to fulfill God's commands, why would He provide the benefits of His Son's sacrifice for us? Jesus died on the cross for us. He sacrificed His life so that we could be saved. And yet we won't have any sacrifice when it comes to God. When it comes to taking care of the needs of the church as far as the spreading of the gospel, when it, when it comes to taking care of the needs of the needy saints, when it comes to their needs, we're going to expect God to give, 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 give to me, but I'm not going to give back? That just makes us takers. We can't be takers and be Christians. We need to give and receive. If Christians give as they ought, then they will not only be affecting themselves, but the lives of others through God's Word. Let's not use this verse as a verse to teach that the more you give, the more you're going to receive. That's not the correct attitude. It can't always be what's in it for me. That proper attitude to give to God is to want to give, not because we have to, but because we want to. And we do it out of the cheerfulness of our heart.
That's the attitude God wants. In the next episode, we're going to be covering verses 8 through 11, and Paul's going to remind the Corinthians that even though they are the ones doing the giving, that God was the one who was going to take care of them. And we hope you can join us for that episode. But perhaps you're listening and you're not a Christian. The brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the Word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. On behalf of the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode. For free online Bible-based material or to get directions to our meeting place, you can visit our website at www.eastendchurch.org. While there, you'll also find links to more of our podcasts as well as links to the live broadcasts of our services. Should you have any questions about this or any of the other podcasts you may have listened to, you may leave a comment below or email us at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Goodbye for now. Have a great day.